All right, what's up, people? We'll, we'll let Mikey sit down before we start ripping an intro. I don't want people staring at Mikey. We want people staring at your boy. Um, anyways, what's up, folks? It is a Monday, which means it is Mistake Monday. Um, I thought our boy Christian Kirby said it best when I first saw him coming down out of the box. The first thing, we make eye contact nice and romantically in Nashville. He looks at me and says, damn, that was a weird game. It was a weird game. I felt like, and especially going back and watching it, if this scoreboard ticker wasn't on the bottom of it, You'd have thought it was standard Vandy, Georgia, minus like six or seven plays. Okay, most of those plays defensively had two offensive turnovers, uh, one of which I believe was because of a tipped pass. The other one was an absolute whiff at right tackle and a little bit of lackadaisical ball security from your quarterback. All right, it is Monday. It is Brock Bowers' news day. Brock Bowers is out for four to six weeks tightrope surgery on the ankle okay we've already had our analysis piece over here on youtube and dogs daily we've covered it tremendously um, we're going to cover it even better tonight on ttd so there's tons of coverage here both on the film guy network so make sure you're liking, and subscribe and thumbs up and all that good stuff i want to also throw a quick shout out to prize picks um, while i do this um, and a quick pri uh, prizepicks.com promo code brooks uh, you can get 100% deposit match today using that promo code. Also want to give a shout out to our folks over at the Athletic Collection. a boy, Mikey. Our folks over at the Athletic Collection. Um, shouts out to those guys. Uh, no promo code needed there. Just head over to the Athletic Collection. We'll put the link in the bio or the description of this uh, you know, uh, video, if you will. They've got great stuff over there at the Athletic Collection. All right, we got a saying around here. Let's enough of the business. Let's shut up. And let's grind the tape. Always know if it's going to be a good day if that muff spins, and it did today. All right, we're going to start on that defensive side of the football, okay, for Georgia. Now, very rare Vandy scores against the University of Georgia. They scored several times on Saturday, okay. This right here, thought they got away with a little bit of an OPI. Also, oh, my bad, Mikey, I forgot. We need that epic pin. Let's come over here, and let's see if we got it in the search bar. We do. You ain't even got to move. Mikey, don't even worry about that. Hey, life is good, unless it came up over on the other screen, and I think it did. So now you got to move. Anyways, uh, thought you guys played. Quit hitting that little button. Just drag it. I got it. My bad. Here we go. I love when I got to go back and post edit. Nine times out of ten, I don't. You know why? Because it takes forever. All right, here we go. Uh, neat little blitz here. They bring the or they bring the uh, the star here. They replace with smile. Now, interesting enough for Vandy. Vandy ran a perfect a bunch of these little you know hooks a uh, uh, hook angle Texas route uh, zone beaters. This is all they are, right? It's a bunch of zone beaters from Vandy right here. Boom, there you see. Now the quarterback quarterback didn't even read it correctly. Quarterback should be going here because they fired the nickel. He ends up throwing it to number three right there. I think number three gets away with a little bit of OPI right there. Let's be a little bit quicker because we got a lot to get through today. No real themes, okay? Nine times out of 10 when I come into these things, I feel like one of these things is pointed. I gotta talk greatly about one guy, I gotta talk badly about another. I didn't watch this multiple times today and think, hmm, this guy played badly, this unit played poorly, this defense, you know what I mean? I think there was a couple of miscommunications, okay, defensively, thought there was a couple things y'all didn't necessarily pass off very well. All right, a couple of concepts that got you beat. But other than that, I thought it was a standard, you know, overall, a minus to B plus performance. It just didn't show up that way in the scoreboard. You know what I mean? You had uh, one possession start at the one due to a damn near pick six. That's seven points. Yeah, you, you gave up an explosive to start the football game. That's seven points. All right, you had another turnover in your own end. All right, so like some of these things, like this, this needs to be corrected. So let's correct this. Hey, why are we giving up so much leverage? Look, there's only two guys over here on this side of the football that can even beat us. Okay. There's two guys. There's a running back and there's a receiver. Okay, so if this guy's not pressing us, why, why are we continuing to gain ground here from Tyke Smith? This doesn't really make any sense. Watch him. One, two, too many steps. One few too many steps, okay? We're getting beat on a, on a Texas route right here. A little, a little halfback uh, option, if you will. We're going to square him up and work back inside. Okay, if he does, we can't just continue to gain ground there, 23. We kind of got to shrink the space because, again, there's nobody threatening us out there. If we are a hook curl defender, meaning we are responsible for the hook, okay, okay, or the 
curl. All right, for a hook curl defender, there's no reason for us to really sp uh, spread out out there, okay, because there's no one running into our void. In fact, the opposite is happening. The guy's pushing back into another teammate of ours' void. So as he passes, we got to pass him off. All right, we got to hand him off to smile. So there's not that much space being created between the both of them. Okay, let's go to the next play. <laughs> Get a replay of it. Here you see. See, 23. We can't leave the picture that much, dog. Especially when he comes back in. When he comes back in, we, we, hey, we got to be there. We got to make that throw just a little bit tighter. He knows that. Okay, but I believe the next play might be the touchdown. It's coming up soon. This is just goofy, goofy uh, mistake right here for the quarterback. Don't know why he's keeping that football. Okay? Don't know why he's keeping that football. Marvin's the read. If Marvin is indeed the read, Marvin is crashing hard as hell. Great play there, getting them both, if you will, seven. Yeah, here's the touchdown play. All right, going to motion in the tight. All right, that puts Tyke on the under, okay, and uh, uh, Kamari on the over. Okay, inside, outside, essentially. We're going to play three, one, two, three, over two, okay? And I don't know what the signal is here, but I'm pretty sure that's what he's giving him. One of these, right? A little out and under, a little bracket, if you will. Okay, so what happens is they drive him vertically, okay, and they run him just like that. So as this gets passed off, Tyke, unfortunately, runs vertical with number one, turns and runs this way. Now Kamari, thinking he's got the outside of these two, okay, continues to run vertically as well, and they slip the tight right in here. Now, the play after the catch is, you know, slightly just as concerning as the reception. Okay, the reception's a good beat. Okay, it's a miscommunication. See, there you see the inside outside. Okay, we got hips to the sideline here, hips inward. We are playing this to pass this off, Taiki. You should be turning and running when this ends up ultimately attacking your void. He doesn't do so, and it's six. You get a good shot a couple of times of the replay. 83, a little sneaky fast guy, Mikey. How about that? Okay, 83, a little sneaky fast. All right, there you see it. That's a good look at it, all right? We're, we're inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. Okay, outside's coming in. Hey, outside's coming in. We got to transfer this, okay? We got to flip hips and run with this vertically, okay? And we can be a little bit more vocal. I don't see fingers. I don't see hands. I don't see nothing, okay? Except for I see some eye contact from three. Watch, after the play is happening, here's how I know. Here's how I know as defensive backs. When you are either right or wrong, just like when you do this as an offensive lineman, I know you holding. When I watch your opponent or your teammate look dead at you and you look dead back, okay, look, I, I know you done busted. You know what I mean? Look, he ain't looking at the ball carrier. He's looking at Tyke like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Hey, a little bust right there. They talked about it after the game, or I talked about it with Tyke after the game. He said it was indeed a miscommunication, okay? Multiple touchdowns Saturday. Uh, on a miscommunication. They get him on a little rub and a pick later. Not going to necessarily blame that on Taiki, but there you see him talking about it. Okay, when I see this, when I see these signals, I think we're talking about bracket, right? I think we're talking about bracket. We got to stay inside, outside. We got to pass those things off. That's what I think at least. Now, that's my, that's my middle school football brain. These guys work on like senior level college calculus AP shit, all right? A little bit different. I just think nice basic terms. All right, on to the offensive side of the football, okay? Starting in 12 personnel, this will be different, I would imagine, okay? I would imagine you're not going to base your personnel and your packaging off of jet motion with 19, okay? Because he ain't going to be out there no more. So are we going to put four right here and seven right here? I highly doubt that, okay? The next couple of weeks, I think it's about developing offense, especially during the bye week, Developing offense based out of 11 personnel packaging. How do we continue the extension of the run game? All this stuff that happens out here. How do we continue all of that without 19? That's the question moving forward. That's not what we're exactly here to evaluate today. I'm just telling you, this ain't going to be really it unless y'all trust a freshman to go out there and do it. And if that's the case, that's the case. But I think Forrest played phenomenally this year doing this stuff, man. Four's played really, really well, okay, and hasn't gotten necessarily the credit that he deserves. All right, we're going to see his role certainly, uh, you know, drastically increase as well over the next couple of weeks. See, here you're in an 11 personnel football team. So you've been doing it. 
You've been doing it. I think this is what you're going to live in, though. Okay, this becomes four for the next four to six weeks, and you really lean on number five, and you really lean on number six and number 84. Okay, this is actually number five, and that's number one over here. Y'all get the point. Y'all have enough wide receivers. Y'all have enough weapons, okay, to be dealing with something like this. Extension of the run game. Now, you can do this with four. That's fine. In fact, it might be better because he's not going to draw as many eyes from defenders. Okay? But does he look like that after the catch? I don't know. He did at West Forsyth. He really did. For, I, I think it's, Mike, I think some people forget how freaking good Oscar Delp was coming out of high school. I think because they, they compare him to 19 and they're like, oh, well, he's not. Guess who ain't him? Every other tight end that's ever played the damn position. All right? But he's pretty daggum good. He is a 4-5-2 running, 6 foot 4 and a half measuring, 250 pound weighing son of a bitch. All right? He's tough to tackle too. All right? So I think sometimes, like, man, like, could you imagine being another SEC coach? Could you imagine being Vandy's coach and trying to feel bad? Like, somebody asking you to feel bad for uh, Kirby Smart and Mike Bobo. Oh, Brock Bowers is out. Oh, shucks. You got you to gotta throw it to the 85 ranked player coming out of the country in 2022. Hey, um, this is a whiff at right tackle. I think we get a replay of it, do we? Oh, hell yeah. Here we go. All right, so this is power. How about Georgia running a little one-gap power right here? Okay, going to seal the backside in, going to seal the nose tackle, going to double, okay, up to the mic. We're going to pull, and we're going to add on to the front side with Dylan Fairchild over there. That is the scheme of the play. However, if this block right here goes to shit from start, we're shit from start, all right? If that block and this combination to this front side mic doesn't get taken care of, the play won't get taken care of. Let me slow it down for you because I don't think they do. All right, down set hut. Okay, boom. There goes that nose, or there goes that three technique outside of Xavier Trust. Dylan Fairchild, we got to do a little bit better job of reacting here, okay? I don't know how they teach this at Georgia. We always taught it, and I would, I would teach it. You become a running back. Okay, as soon as we skip pull, that's why I like skip pull, not pull pulls. Okay, here we go. What is a skip pull? Okay, I'm an offensive guard. A skip pull is one step back, skip behind, okay, and pull forward. Why do I like that? I like that because my chest and eyes stay forward as opposed to doing this and running around, right? If I skip pull, okay, I have a better tendency and a better ability to see the holes that I'm supposed to like this right here. Get inside. Get back inside. Don't keep floating outside. Right here, 53, because we're running to nothing. We're running to nothing. We should be running to zero. So a whole bunch going wrong there. But it's a whole bunch going wrong because Vandy's throwing a really, really good run game stunt. Okay, really, really good run game stunt there from Vandy. But there's some things to correct. I would be, unless you're running trap here, which I don't believe you are, ah, you might be going out there to kick the front side end. If you're running trap, that's fine. The difference, guys between trap and power. Power, pull inside, insert for the mic, okay? Trap, pull, and kick the end man on the line of scrimmage, which actually is what I think is happening right here. So this is trap. So I'm fine with the track, and I'm fine with the footwork there, 53. A lot of teams doing a lot of stunting and, and, and crossing the face of Xavier Truss. Like this one right here. This is the fumble. Let's just get straight to the replay. It's 77. Okay. You got two. One, two. Pick one. You got to pick one. And guess what? If there's a guy lined up outside, Mikey, let me ask you something. I got a guy in my left gap. I got a guy in my right gap. And I got a plus one outside. Okay. If I'm looking at this picture as the right tackle, okay, and we know the quarterback's hot off the plus one, okay, meaning this is definitely my guy. All right, if I know that's my guy and I know he's got somebody lined up outside, you know what he's not doing? He's not going out there. He's not. He's not. So we should not immediately kick out. In fact, we should be patient. In fact, we should almost go set because he's probably coming inside. And if he's ours, okay, if that plus one is the quarterbacks, then we're never going out there. So let's see what happens, Xavier. I haven't seen this, but let's see. Oh, pfft, there you go. We kick out. And guess what? The guy goes right inside our face. Too old. Too old to be making these mistakes. Let's look at it. Okay, well, okay. All right. Great job by the corner. Great job by the corner of not showing eyes. The corner never does it. They bring a plus one. The, the, the running back gets it picked up. But we can't, guys. We can't 
do that. Now we can blame it on turf. We can blame it on everything. We can blame it on all kinds of different things. But I know, and you guys know, because a lot of y'all, I've seen it, a lot of y'all are return customers at this point. Y'all keep watching this shit, all right? So when 77 keeps falling and slipping and, and falling on, he's overextended. He's constantly overextended. He's played chest over toes all year. So when we play chest over toes and we get beat, hey, quarterback probably should be protecting the football as well. Okay, we can probably get 15 with a double minus right here for putting the ball at risk. But in reality, it's because we overset it right tackle. Okay, we didn't have the footwork to get back inside and we fell flat on our face. Okay, and we can blame everybody else. We can blame turf. We can blame all that. But we can't blame the ball security on the right tackle. That's on the quarterback. Protect the football. Defense gets a stop right here, I believe. Actually forced a missed field goal as well here. Georgia was playing a bunch of zone on Saturday. It was very interesting to see. Um, I'm not saying it's something that's going to continue. It's zone match, okay? Like even down here on the bottom, Kamari's got – they're, they're playing kind of cover six here. I think he's got deep half here, okay? And he's got eh, – kind of doubling Shepard here is what it looks like. So that tells you what they thought of him on Saturday. That's always good to notice. I think they actually try to get him here. Yeah. This should have been a pick. Got guys slipping on the turf as well. I'm standing over here on this pylon at this point, and that, that ball goes fluttering in the air. It didn't look great coming off the hands, by the way. It's kind of duck farting through the air, and I'm like, oh, pick. And then I look, and oh, there goes Kamari slipping on that bandy turf. Slipping on that bandy turf. That Will Shepard, man, he's a good football player. <laughs> he almost catches this ball. He catches one later that the TV broadcast kind of missed right before the half. Holy hell, the one that went under review, one of the best football catches I've seen live in a fat minute. Okay, look at this. He almost catches this ball. Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Great, great football player. He's going to play in the league for a while. Great tackle here from Malachi. Another turf slippage right here. Look at 24. Look at 24. Sniffing it. Okay. Now, I don't know how you continue to block that guy because he's just so fast and he efforts so hard and he's so big, okay? He plays strong, guys. He plays strong and in the box often. Great recognition from 24. And then he forced the third and 11, right? This is easy money. This is easy money for Georgia, okay? You want to go empty? Guess what Georgia does? Shocker. They play cover one. Now, I don't know if this is going to be the answer for everybody, but it's certainly the answer for Vandy, okay? And to their credit, they do a decent enough job of attacking the right one. If you're going to attack the right one, attack the linebacker out here, okay, against one of your best, uh, you know, weapons in number six right here. So they attack the right one. It's just the pressure makes the quarterback move off the spot. Okay, there's a whole bunch going on here. Love Jalen Walker's rush here at the top. Mikey, last week we went an hour. I don't really care as long as we cover the right things, okay? So give, give me some kind of time stamps at some point because um, I, I don't remember where we're really at. I'm kind of just going at this point. It takes what it takes. You know what I mean? I just got a text message from one of my, 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 my closest confidants, okay? Just text me and said, I got to have a positive film review to calm my wife down because she's going nuts. That's what we're here for. I can't tell you how many comments we get on the channel that's just like, bro, I just wait and I just wait until Monday and then I have a response. How smart. How smart. You know what you are? You know what you are? You're looking at the tape. You're like, hey, I got to wait to evaluate the tape. That's what you're doing. You're doing what college football coaches do. Kudos to you. Here we go. Let's get after it. Again, is the extension of your run game going to remain this? I don't know. But in years past, hey, what, what's the difference? If we put number four there and we get an 11 personnel and put number six there, or better yet, we get an 11 personnel and put 86 there. Now, I know the difference. I know Brock Bowers just got taken out of the equation. But do defenses respond to you the same way? Do defenses respond and, 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 and give up the same stuff, right? Do they still play with this kind of off coverage? Because in reality, guys, that's all you're attacking right here. You're not attacking this formation or this concept because this guy's just great. 
He is great. Don't get me wrong. And his greatness is the difference between maybe it being an eight-yard reception and a six-yard reception. But in reality, the offensive concepts are about attacking the space, not attacking the, the, the matchups here. So this extension, quote-unquote, of the run game hypothetically should still remain, right? Should still remain. Now, this kind of stuff, I don't know. Is this highly as featured in your offense now? I doubt it, right? All this is is this is a, a, a simple way to get 19 the ball and trust him to catch this football. You're faking the, the toss uh, screen down here on the bottom, okay, trying to draw as many defenders this way as we can while pressing vertically with the tight. Still available, still available for you, okay? But are we putting that ball into tight windows like this all the time? I don't know. Don't think he necessarily needed to jump for that ball when I watched it today, okay? This ball's tracking right at his face mask, I felt like. Eh, maybe not. I'm an idiot. Now this, this was a shot. This was, whoo, this was Bobo in that bag. Okay, when I watched it, I was like, oh shit, they, they tried to throw a toss. They tried to throw a toss crack. Is that what you thought when you saw this on film? I was like, oh, they tried to throw a toss and he just, he just dropped the ball. Nay, 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 nay. They're trying to take the shot. They're, they're throwing the beater right here. They're going block the end, up the boundary, block the end, into the flat. And here's how I noticed this, okay? Look at Dejan. Dejan never once, boom. There he looks back for the football, okay? He thinks he, he thinks he might be getting the ball off play action. And by the way, whoop, there it was. That son of a bitch was going to run for years, okay? He was going to run for years. Um, just don't get it completed, all right? But we do get a big man carry out of it. So let's go look at that. That's dope. Uh, I was luckily enough on the sideline for photography duties this week. And they always pin the offensive line up, offensive defense line out on the edges of the sideline. The real guys getting coached, they're in the middle of the field, okay, or middle of the sideline, if you will. And, and the, you know, photographers have got to stay outside the 30s, I think it is, maybe the 25s. But anyways, we get the linemen on the, edges, on the edges. And I overheard Cedric saying basically it slipped off the turf, and it did. You can see it rolling around on the ground. Turf real slippery. Uh, don't know if it's because it had too many pellets on it or not enough. Don't know. Don't know. Mystery shall remain. Uh, 12 personnel here. Okay, that would be the first thing. Oh, that'd be the first thing I'm looking for. I think this will we'll notice how much of a miss this is with him gone as well. He's such a great blocker. Bowers, that is such an underrated skill set of his that I don't think enough people talk about. Man, like y'all, y'all really do kind of like y'all's ability to run duo is kind of because y'all got tight ends that can dig folks out. This is what this is. This is what's called duo. All right. We're going to try to combination block on the back side, if you will. Uh, to the backside inside linebacker. Let's see if we get a replay of it. Here it is right here. Boom. Okay. So here's the combination block. We're going to take these two guys and double to the mic. Okay. And we're going to dig out this guy. All right. I think they're working there. Or maybe they're working here to the front side inside. And this side's working the back side. Okay. We'll see. Let's take a look at the play. Here it is. Boom. Oh, 24 really helps him out. 24 with this little fake run game stunt right there. Yeah. This front side combination is actually going to 24 right here. Boom. Way to pick up the run game stunt, fellas. Good work. But yeah, look at this dig out from 19. Just violent. Good football player, man. Shocker. Oh, also, wanted to say this about this play. Um, you, uh, you ever seen Mean Girls, Mike? Yeah. You know that scene in the movie where uh, she's like, the limit does not exist. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, the ligaments. The ligaments do not exist with Dejan Edwards. Watch this. Okay? Watch him just come to a complete stop. Yank! Okay? And just let a safety go right by his face. The ligaments in this man's knees do not exist. They cease to be there. How is this possible? What in the world? He's going full speed. Now, granted, he ain't no 4-3 runner. We all know this. Okay? But how? Right? How? Every single week, every single week, I got pictures of man's where his knee, his knee on this dead leg right there, look at that. His knee is like a quarter inch from the ground. And, it's, and he's right back up to full speed right after. I think Dejan Edwards is going to play in the league for a fat minute. For a fat minute. Okay? Oof. I thought 10. 
thought Tim was a good football player, okay? Where's he at? I think he just made that tackle. Okay, 10 for Vandy. Good ball player, really quick. One for Vandy, really good ball player. Uh, 11, big dude, really, really big dude. Like 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six big. Okay, that got some guys. Now, here's the other thing. Hey, don't know, y'all, y'all do a bunch of this tear motion with him over there on the nub set. That's 19 over there. Okay, y'all do a bunch of tear motion. Y'all tear the back out, hoping to extend this corner, and then you press vertically here. That's exactly what's happening here. Now, what happens is these safeties start to play on the hash or over, all right? So they're really unbalanced, if you will. We got these three guys, okay, playing over these two guys, and look at all the voids, okay? Here's this wide receiver with really nobody paying attention to this entire vector of the field, right? Well, that's a lot to do with 19's involvement and 19's, uh, you know, ability to draw eyes. Now, here's the question. Once this guy starts cheating in over here, all right, well, that's the quarterback's read. The quarterback's read is to read this guy. And if he wants to cheat this way, well, guess what? We'll still throw the, we'll still throw the vertical to the, to the tight end. It don't really matter, all right? It's just about who's the one drawing the coverage, all right? That's why, like, we talked in the, in the, uh, in the live show about, hey, this guy's absence is big, right? Look how, I mean, obviously, look, one, two, three, four. Four defenders over him, all right? But it's just as important for the coordinator to continue to design these types of runners and these types of hitters based off of attacking zone coverage. That's all. Just attack zone coverage the correct way. Got to hit it, though. Got to hit it, though. I thought on the – watching it live – thought, hey, why aren't you jumping for that ball with two hands, okay? And then watching it this way on the TV copy, I thought, hmm, probably a quarterback miss. Now, here's the problem. You can't just throw a liner because you're trying to throw this ball in here. We can't just throw this ball on a zip because the tight end or the, the linebacker right here can obviously get his hands up, right? He's got his eyes on you, okay? As soon as you throw, he's going to move, all right? So we kind of got to throw this ball with some layered finesse, right? This arc path has to be kind of like this. So this ball is naturally going to be high. So as a wide receiver, we can't expect this ball at our feet. We got to expect this ball eyes up, all right? And I don't think we reacted quite well enough, but again, I do think it is a miss, okay? I think the, the trajectory is just a little bit too high at first, okay? That ball shouldn't be that high, okay? We don't need it that high, right? We don't need it all the way up here. We just kind of need it right here, all right? Just kind of need it right here. Where we at on that time stamp over there, Mikey? Right at 30. Right at 30. Let's keep grinding. God, it was good to see this guy back at it Saturday. It really was. Hey, this right here? This right here? Oh, 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 this, this was created because of Brock Bowers. No, this was created because they're in man coverage and your coordinator is doing what his job is to do, okay? Instead of adding the tight end in, or tight end in on here, okay, he's going to jet him out, okay, and give him the arc release into the flat as an, a quote-unquote RPO. But in re reality, all it is is a box number count manipulation. Box number count manipulation. All we're doing is trying to pull a guy out of the box. That's it. And guess what? It don't matter if that's four. It don't matter if that's 19. It don't matter if that's 64. Okay, if he's eligible, the son bitch got man responsibilities. So he's going to take him. He's going to run. Now, is he going to run as hard? Is he going to run as fast? Is he going to run as diligently? Probably. Because he's got the guy of man responsibilities anyways. And if he's sagging off of it, you know what we do? 4, 19, 24, 34, don't matter. Okay? If they're in man coverage, attack it with a concept. If they're in zone coverage, attack it with a concept. Okay? It's just as much on the players to replace him as it is the coordinators. Period. Point blank. And guess what? The guy's been doing it all year. The guy's been doing this stuff, which creates the explosive Okay, all the down blocks against this bare front, they do, they do that too. Okay, all the things down here do this, but really what creates the explosive is this guy being now out of the box. Great job too. I thought when I watched this, I thought we probably could have switched the ball in our outside hand right here. Okay, kind of probably could have put the ball in our outside hand, then we have our, you know, coveted stiff arm. Okay, one of our best traits, but I appreciate the ball security. I really do. I appreciate this is maturity. This is, this is what this is. This is maturity as a running back. Because against Missouri a couple years ago, what happened? He got a ball punched out right here, right? Probably because he tried to switch the ball in his hand. 
Okay, we got a sign of maturity coming up a little bit later in your quarterback as well that I think was a direct response to the, lack of a better term, shit he heard on social media for years about some dumb play against UAB. Okay, and it almost cost him a shoulder. All right, and I think if you're smart enough, you're already on the page with me where I'm at right here. Okay, but yeah, thought thought we probably could have switched the ball on our outside hand, but hey, that's why we did. That's what we did against Missouri. It cost us a fumble. Okay, so now we're just gonna run away from him. We're gonna beat the angle on him. Woo! But yeah, you see it. You can see that guy sprinting out of the box like hell. Look, there he is. Woo! He gone. He gonna be gone. Okay, he gonna be gone next week too. If you want to be a man coverage football team, they go quarterback sneak the next play. Okay. Man, we're 30 minutes in. We're really only like a quarter in. That's crazy. Had a lot. Had a lot of analysis there. Left tackle gets called for a hold. I love Michael Williams. Ha! Ha! Hold. Look at him. He getting held. He's like, what the heck? And then he sees it on the ground. And then he points back at Ah! I got him. I love watching guys have fun and play ball, man. That's what it's all about. Mm, mm, mm. What we got up there? Some of this stuff. Ooh, good zone beater. I thought this was really, really well done. Okay. Going to run something into the flat out here, right? That takes, uh, you know, Tyke out here. He's got the deeps. All right. He's got the middle of the field. He looks to me, to me like he's probably got some type of uh, cover six over here on the corner. He's probably got responsibility for half the field. He's probably got underneath coverage over here. That's assumptions, right? So with this swing, pulling this guy, all right, we're going to run a little hitch here, okay? We're going to run a little hitch here, all right? And then we're going to do something with the back here to occupy the front side linebacker's face, all right? So this is really well done, okay? If we're going to uh, 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 appreciate the, the conceptual design of the, the, the team you guys love, we got to give some credit to other guys too. That's really well done. That's going to be open every time, okay? Offenses are good. This is what I think uh, your, your coach has done a really, really good job of explaining. Y'all have been historically great defensively. Y'all are not perfect. Y'all, there are ways to matriculate the ball down the field, but in order to score every single time, or in order to score enough as the other team does, you got to score. You got to get a bunch of short fields. You got to get a bunch of turnovers, and you got to score in explosives. And that's it, that just, shit just doesn't happen against Georgia historically. So you got to be like 12, 11, 10, 12 play drives methodically. It's why Kentucky historically has played you guys so well because they're like, oh. You want to make us be boring. <laughs> Baby, I was born boring. You know what I mean? Oh, this was, this was a tremendous play from the right tackle. I love this. Hey, Ross Tucker sounds really goofy, knows football. Okay, so if he's ever on a cast again, just turn down the what he sounds like and just listen to him because he's talking about the right shit, and I can always tell by his replays. He's watching this live, okay? And, and he's seeing the right stuff. And he's seeing what the play was made about. This play was made because this right tackle was good enough to get up underneath this guy, okay, and get him hooked and keep running his feet. Now, it looks like a hole. It might be a hole, okay, but it ain't. It ain't a hole. It's running your feet. Um, I kind of want to keep skipping until we get to some more important stuff. Okay, back on offense here. Oh, 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 this was a fucking play right here, son. Okay, vert. Okay, we're gonna switch. We're gonna we're gonna force the switch. We're gonna force the switch release right here against the zone. This guy's got to drop into this hook. This guy's got deep thirds. This guy's got deep quarters. Excuse me. This guy's got deep quarters. This guy's got deep quarters. This guy's got hook curl. Now, how do we attack this? Watch what they do with Lad McConkey right here. Watch this little semi stutter they do at the top of the screen. This is beautiful. Okay, we get a really good replay over here in a second. Look at this. Okay, let's get back to the actual mesh point. Here it is. Watch them release. Okay, there's that force switch. Okay, we're going to make them think we are switch releasing here, which we are. All right, but we're going to stutter it. We're going to stutter it and almost square up to the queue to make this guy drive down. And really, all we're doing is attacking this because we know these two are running with that one. They are. These two are running with that one. So, becomes this, this whole analysis is no longer Mistake Monday. This whole analysis t has turned into, can you still do that shit without 19 on the field, right? So the question now becomes, when we run into this void, will two guys still take him? I don't know. I don't know. But it doesn't matter because we're still attacking it, right? If, if one guy sits, excuse me, if one guy sits down, guess what? We got a one-on-one. -on -one. 
We still have to win our one-on-ones. We still got to attack those, right? So that's what we do. We just throw the ball to the, to the vertical, right? The, the whole idea of offensive concepts is to force decisions. That's all we're trying to do, trying to force decisions right there. Two to go with one and beat the zone beater right there. Wham! Great design from Bobo. Thought this was elite, okay? Thought this was elite. Now, they didn't do it fast, okay? It took them 25 seconds, 35 seconds, 30 seconds of, of play clock, okay? But they're in over. They're in tackle over. They took the right tackle, bumped them over to left tackle. Okay, that's number four right there, and that's number 19 right there. They now have tight end over, okay, tackle over. They got two tights over here. They're going to run the jet sweep motion with the halfback stretch coming back this way. Just real quick on you, didn't even notice. Okay, most of you probably at home didn't even notice you went tackle over. Did you notice you went tackle over? Nope. There you go. I didn't either until about the third way rep through, and here's how I noticed because Tate – we're here to talk about you because you messed up, all right? Uh, the angle, the arc here is really, really bad. Now, I don't know how they're coaching this. This is what makes my job really, really hard. Over here, right guard, kind of being a right tackle now because you don't have anybody over there. It's just a naked tight end who's arc releasing. So are you taught to stab, okay? Are you taught to stab this defensive end? Just treat the ball as a defensive end, okay? Are you taught to stab this defensive end and then work down to make him kind of perceive that he's getting outside zone with the jet motion or are you taught to stay on your arc whichever one okay bottom line the second step gets us beat as it so often does in the position of offensive line let's take a look at this second step right here it's far too vertical okay ah, it's so hard on the tv copy can you zoom in on this at all for me mikey can you take camera three and kind of squeeze me in on this uh in on tate over here Right here, squeeze me. That's good enough right there, that's, that's good enough, it's beautiful. All right, watch him. Okay, we'll slow it down maximum. Okay, there's that first step. Okay, that first step was in it looked like to me. Here's the second step. Way, way, way too vertical out in front of us. All right, if we're gonna, that second step's gotta be down on the arc, man. If we're not stabbing this guy, all right, if we're just taking our angle, then we better get on this angle. Y'all see that angle I'm drawing right now? It's fresh off this butt. This angle right here, what we do not need to do, do not need to do, do not need to do, is go upfield and then try to chase that way because we are never, ever, ever, ever in Sam's good hell ever going to get that guy. We're way too far upfield. We got to get flat. We got to get flat. All right, you can zoom back out. Oh, you already did. Look at you. <laughs> Let's get to the pick. <clears throat> Should we? What were other big football uh, plays? Uh, how about the best player in the country getting hurt? Let's talk about that one. Um, he's still in. They score here. They get a stop there. Okay. Third and three. There's some good stuff here. We're going to go over on patreon.com forward slash Brooks Austin this week. Um, just wanted to make sure we hit all the, the main stuff right here today. Oh yeah. Uh, Arian. I mean, what the? Bro. Catch the ball. Oh, yes. Got to hit this because I love it. It's not even a mistake Monday here with Kendall. This is just, he's back, baby. Like, this is it, man. This is what I saw in his high school tape. Okay. Holy shit. 6'2", 2 six, two and a half, six, two and a half, six, two and a half, 230 pounds doing this. Whoop. Jump cut. Get flat. Oh, yeah. Hey. Come on now. All right. <clears throat> and then run over the linebacker. Come on now. Like, that's what we saw in the high school tape. And four years into his career, I thought he showed it very early on, okay, and then gets hurt 2020 against Florida. Then we kind of don't see him. You go turn on 2020 Alabama tape, bro, Najee Harris. Like, holy shit, look at dude. That, that's what it looked like his freshman year. Okay, and then kind of battle some injuries. But that, that's it again, man. That's what it looks like. Okay, if y'all get that guy, y'all going to be all right. Mm, hell yeah, said. What is Sed doing all the way down there, finishing his damn block? Hell yeah, 63. I love watching that dude play, man. Love watching that dude play. Here's a replay of it. <clears throat> not a, it's a jump cut, not a dead leg. So two totally different moves there. Y'all see the difference? Um, let's keep scanning here. This was a really tough throw. Back against your body. 
Now, you'll remain a levels team. You always have been. You always will be. Okay? Levels will be in the playbook. Um, this is him getting injured up coming, right? I think this is the drive. Yep, right here. Okay. This is the reverse. Now, Carson, don't do that. Carson, don't do that. We got two don't do that's today for 15. 15, don't do that. Don't do that. The play is off. The play is dead. If the play requires you to be a touchdown block, yeah, no. <laughs> and now we'll get a look at the replay here. Um, what concerns me, guys, now I know he's having surgery, so it doesn't really matter, my concerns. But this is inward, okay? Right there on that step, and then right here is where it comes in. Where's the defender? Where's the defender? Choppy, 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 choppy. Choppy, choppy, choppy. Here we go. Bam. All right. Watch the ankle. Okay. Foot kind of, if this is the foot, foot kind of went that way. Okay. The inside of your foot, this side right here. That way. Went that way. Okay. That always concerned me. Now, uh, right there. Wham. And just the general twisting of the ankle. Now, having the surgery, supposed to be back, expected to be back 100%, four to six weeks. That is the prognosis there. Let's get all the way to the interception because I got another don't do that. And we love talking about don't do that. Okay, but I want to talk about a please continue to do that, which is these two-minute drills. Holy smokes, this football team is elite in two-minute, guys. At least has been the last two weeks. Here's the pick from Tyke. Undercutting this route tremendously. Very good job there, 23. Playing inside leverage, okay? Remaining on the inside of this the whole entire time. He said he felt the guy working back in, so he stayed up underneath and played it this way. It's a great job here from 23, okay? Great ball skills, too. Watch this. Boom. Ball's up in the air, finds it again, catches it, goes and makes a play afterwards. Give me them savage pads. Now, here was the impressive part, okay? The two-minute drill right here is uh, nice. This is a great ball from uh, Carson Beck right here, okay? We're going to work this kind of over and up, if you will, but we got to throw it up on up, up over this underneath linebacker who's dropping into this zone, and we got to get behind this zone defender as well. This is well ran, okay? This is well thrown, boom, and well caught, okay? Gets down immediately, and then I love this play. This play was so slap covered. This play was so covered. This ball was thrown open. This play was thrown open. All right. This guy runs over and picks up Dom Levitt on the seam. I'm pretty sure they're just running four verts is what it looks like. Okay. Yeah. Just running four verts. All right. So we have the vert over here. Now it's covered. All right. But you know what's never covered? A perfect ball. So we're going to throw a stopper. We're going to throw a stopper up here and put it on this left shoulder for Dominic Levitt. This ball is just, I mean, holy shit. Guys, Joe Burrow won a Heisman doing that, by the way. Like, figuring out ways to make sure four verts was never covered. That was 2019 LSU. Everybody wants to talk about 2019 LSU, 2019 LSU. 2019 LSU's ability to run four verts, no matter what, was why they were so great. Because they threw stoppers like that all the time. You're never going to defend that ball, ever, ever. No corner will. It's a great job there in a two-minute now. Had all their timeouts. Check it. Tremendous game management here for Georgia. Still had two remaining, okay? They have the run av available to them. I think it's a great play from 10. This play scores if 10 doesn't slip this. He just runs right through unevaded. If these guys weren't so like, I'm going to be a pro football player, why well, you can't dive on the back of the feet, never mind. I'm going to say, we need to start throwing a little bit more. If, if I was still coaching in college football, offensive line, we'd, we'd be cutting. I'm sorry. Uh, we wouldn't be diving on the back of feet, but in open field, I am biting your place out of me. Ain't no fucking doubt. Because you know what I'm not going to do, Mike? I'm never going to outrun a safety. I'm never, I'm never going to outrun a safety. So the idea that I'm just going to, oh, he's got an angle on me. I'm, I'm going to beat him to this spot here. In two, no, you're not. Take it right now. Bite the front side knee. Hey, um, it's just as much. I think that's, that's, that's the takeaway for me watching it. It's going to be just as much about Mike Bobo's ability to remain uh, effective with his concepts as it is about, hey, Oscar Dope's got to step up. 
Carson Beck doesn't have a security blanket anymore. Okay, uh, extension of the run game. Going to have to block better out in space. Somebody's got to pick it up with the ball carrying abilities right out there in space as well. So your design of offense slightly changing. Going to have to become a little bit more of an 11 personnel football team. I, for one, watching this week in, week out, Mike Bobo is doing his job. Mike Bobo is doing really, really good as offensive coordinator right now. Hey, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, like, subscribe, rate, and review. We'll see you at 8 o'clock tonight.